What's going on guys? Clash Attic back, and today I wanted to talk about running out of time in uh, clan war raids. So, the reason I had an idea of doing a video like this was because this most recent war, I had, a, uh, I had an attack that just came down to, you know, one or two buildings not going down. I think it ended up being just one army camp that didn't go down. But we'll go ahead and watch that in a second. But I've had this happen a few times over the past month or so, so I just thought it'd be a cool idea, and um, I'm going to do like a mini-series on this. So what you guys are going to be seeing is I'm going to do a few episodes um, of videos like this, and just uh, we'll go through it, watch the replay, and analyze what could have been differently to, you know, grab that three-star. Um, it's really frustrating, guys, and annoying when you get that one or two-star that's 90-plus percent, because there's just... There's just one or two things that could have you could have done differently for that three star. So it's always uh you know, it's it's a crappy feeling. When you get done that raid, it's it just doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh start playing this video and we'll just kinda take a look at, you know, what went wrong and how uh how the raid turned out. Uh i I think I've seen this base before. I can't remember if it's if it's a foreign base, I'm pretty sure it is, but this was not a cleanup attack. Um, I attacked this base about, you know, halfway through war, and it, it wasn't hit yet. So I wasn't really sure where many things were, um, but a majority, like, I watched all the other attacks in um, on this clan, and I think 99% of the other bases had a dragon with two um, loons in the clan castle. So that's what I was expecting. So my plan was to drop a giant on this cannon right here, followed by four hogs to take that down. So later in the raid, when I drop my hogs on this archer tower right here, they would funnel right into this air defense and then right into the core. Um, but as you can see, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Um, the lure just, uh, you know, I just, it didn't go as planned. That Tesla popped up, still stuck to the plan. Four hogs go down, take down the Tesla, no problem. Um, Four hogs go in, two got died at a spring trap. I sent another one in just to complete the lure. So at this point, guys, I've used five hogs and a giant on this lure. That's 30 troop space. Six. Six hogs. That, that's ridiculous. And I'm already 25 seconds into the raid, and I have, you know, not even half the clan castle lured. And as soon as I don't get the entire CC lure, I just got a little flustered, and you can see I lose about 10 seconds right here. Just trying to bunch the troops up, thinking about how I'm going to execute the rest of my attack. So I go ahead and drop my poison spell, just wipe out, you know, some archers and I think two wizards. And uh, from then on, at, from after this, I'm going to go ahead and drop my golems. You know, one on the archer tower, one on the cannon. That Tesla pops up, no problem. That golem's going to tank for that. Wizards to create my funnel. Um, you know, standard, uh, standard Hogo Wee Wee uh, kill squad attack. Uh, witches go down. I'm going to drop the jump right on top of that queen compartment. King goes down the lecture storage. Queen's going to go down on the air defense, or sorry, the archer tower right here. Um, everything's funneling and funneling great. Uh, you can see a wizard and a witch popped out of the clan castle. They're going to go ahead and take out that golem. Um, that's not a problem, though, because as soon as the king pops into this compartment, he's going to go over, take out that witch, um, wizard, and then the enemy king. The queen's already down. Uh, the queen, uh, you can see my queen still doing some work. Hogs go in, um, drop that heal for them. They all bunch up. Uh, you know, they're taking no damage. And uh, as soon as they take down this expo, uh, another heal's waiting for them. I dropped that heal spell a little early. I wish I waited a little longer on that. Um, knowing that I dropped, a, I only had one left. I waited till they came back around and bunched up again. You know, right near this Tesla, it's going to go back, back down again. Um, so far, so good. Uh I have some good, good troop spread, you know. Everything's looking good still. Uh, I have about eight hogs left, just lost two to a spring trap. Uh, six up now. I'm going to lose one more, two more to those skeleton traps. So, you know, those skeleton traps chipping away at my hogs definitely did not help. But as you can see, everything's down. I have my queen up still, a witch, some skellies. I have a wizard there, another witch. And a few hogs. So, and note note the one barb I have left in my uh, troop composition. Just what? Just it, it, this. It, it, this just is unfortunate. 
I saved that barb. I guess I was just watching the raid so closely on for time that I didn't even realize I had that barb left. Because if I dropped him down, that raid would have been, you know, that would have been a three star. That wasn't the reason I lost this raid, though. I'm going to go ahead and play this back again. As soon as uh, that Tesla popped up during my lure, I just got flustered. Um, I kind of, you know, just tried sticking to the plan. I ended up wasting too many hogs. I didn't get the clan castle lured. And, you know, that's the one thing. that If you want to get a three-star, you have to keep the entire attack flowing. You can't pause. You can't give away 10 seconds like I did here. That it's just you. You won't get a three star, guys. These uh these three star strategies um they come down to time, and you got to make sure you you know the whole attack is flowing just the whole the whole time. You got to keep the attack moving, even if something doesn't go according to plan. You got to call an audible, and you got to be able to keep that attack moving. Um, I just took too long on the clan castle lure, and I didn't even end up getting all the troops lured. So that's what hurt me, guys. And um, I'm glad I was able to you know come back watch this and analyze the video a little better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to do a mini series on this. We're going to look at, uh, you know, some 90 plus percent, one and two stars. Just go ahead and talk about, you know, what could have been done differently to, you know, get that three star. Um, I hope these, uh, these videos help you guys. Um, I know I'm a little bummed about this attack, but moving forward, I'll uh, fix this mistake and it won't happen again. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Clash Addict, out.